So weight loss subliminals. <laughs> now I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video. Are subliminals sinful? Good morning everyone! Or good evening. Or good night. Or whatever time you are watching this video. Subliminals. So many of you guys requested this video, asked me to do another video where I listened to a subliminal for seven days. Now, a lot of you guys asked for clear skin, weight loss, and etc. But the most requested one was weight loss sublim subliminal. Yes, weight loss subliminal. So weight loss subliminals one. So I am basically going to listen to a weight loss subliminal for seven days straight. So for all of those girls who asked me to do this video, this one's for you, girl. So I've already done a video like this. This one over here, that video was for increasing my height. Go watch that video if you haven't already. So before getting into this video, I want to give you guys a little warning that I learned that subliminals could be dangerous. Some subliminals could be at the wrong hands and it could do bad more than good. I'm taking the risk. Now I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video, but I don't care. And if you're wondering, why are you gonna get hate? Basically, a lot of people wanted me to keep the subliminal community really small and basically they wanted to gate. And I was getting a lot of hate comments because I apparently exposed the subliminal community. Well, here's the thing. You cannot gatekeep something that is not yours. Subliminals could benefit other people and do good to other people. Why would you wanna keep that to yourself? And remember, before commenting down below, something really careless and mean, about how I'm bringing outsiders to the subliminal community. Just know that you were an outsider once and I want my girls to find out what subliminals are and if they wanna use it, it's their choice. So I'm not gonna gatekeep it. So just a heads up, before you leave a hate comment, just know I don't care. You cannot gatekeep something that is not yours. And you cannot gatekeep something that is basically law of attraction. That's just selfish and rude. Just remember, the more you give, the more it comes to you. So if you gatekeep, things that could do good to other people, just know you're limiting it to yourself. Anyways, now that I'm done with my rant, let's get started. So anyways, before getting burned the video, make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get notified whenever I post. So this is the video that I am going to be listening to, basically audio, yeah. So the link will be in the description box below if you guys want to try it out yourself. So basically, I'm going to be listening to this audio for seven days straight and see if I actually lose weight or not. Also, every single day, I'm going to be answering a few questions that you guys have about subliminals. Is it a sin? Does it really work? Bad effects of subliminals. So I'm going to be answering one question each day. So keep watching the video to learn more about subliminal. Now, before anybody comes at me like, oh, you're so skinny, you don't have to. Or like, girl, why do you want to do it? I wanna. I wanna see if it works or not. So I'm gonna do it for my girls. So today is day one, so let's get started. Also, if you guys watched my previous subliminal video, you already know I had a headache and I had this weird feeling after listening to it for the first time. Um, let's see what happens this time too. So I got my laptop here, got my earphones, let's plug and let's listen. So here's me listening to the subliminal for the first time. The subliminal's duration is two minutes and 46 seconds. It's pretty short, shorter than the one that I did last time, so yeah. Okay, so I am done listening to the subliminal. Oh my god, my eye hurts. For this subliminal, today's the first day. I do not have any headaches. I do not feel weird. I don't feel anything negative like I did in my last video. That's a good sign. But the question is, will it really work? I don't know. Keep watching to find out. Okay, so it is day two. The question for today is, are subliminals safe? Now, most of the subliminals on YouTube can be safe, 
but you never know some of them could be dangerous some of them could be bad some of them just could be really good you just never know so you basically just have to take the risk but i don't believe that it's gonna make a huge negative impact on you i just think like tiny differences like tiny negative things but overall in my opinion i don't think that it could cause a significant negative impact on you so i got my earphones here and i got my audio here and let's get started so basically subliminal messages target the subconscious mind by sending the messages right into it so there are two types of subliminal messages visual ones and auditory ones so this is an audio recording that i'm listening to So well, that's about it for day two. Honestly, I feel like one of the reasons a lot of people want to gatekeep the subliminal community is because they are afraid that it could get into the wrong hands and it could cause toxicity or it could cause negative effects and stuff like that. I honestly think you cannot control the good or bad that happens in any type of community. And I think it's just a way of life. But feel free to correct me in the comment section below. Feel free to educate me. But please do not tell me to not expose the subliminal community because it's not something to expose. It's something to discover. It's not in our hands to gatekeep anything just because you are afraid that it's gonna get into the wrong hands. How sure are you that it's not in the wrong hands already? That's what I thought. Okay, so it is day three. Question of the day is, do subliminals always work? Unfortunately, no. Subliminals do not always work. It's the same thing as not all your manifestations are gonna come true. I know, that's sad. Here's the thing. If you are not getting what you're trying to manifest, it's because of you. You can go watch this video to find out why your manifestations aren't coming true. If you don't believe in it, you're not gonna get it. If it's not meant for you, you're not gonna get it. Okay, anyways, I got my subliminal over here. I know I look a little weird here, but I was just taking deep breaths, so yeah. <laughs> day 4. What is the question of the day? Are subliminals sinful? But I did my research and all I could say is that there are two answers to this. One is yes and one is no. Let me explain. Now, yes, it could be sinful because basically in some way you are worshipping something that is not God. And in most religions, they have mentioned that you should not be believing in anything else other than God himself. But no, no, it's not sinful if you're still praying to God. It's not sinful if you're still believing in God. And when I did my research, I saw that if you prayed before and after you listened to a subliminal message, it would be okay. Now, I don't know how much of this is true. Those are the two answers I got and I couldn't pick one. So here's that. And I got my subliminal and I am going to listen to it. In my previous subliminal video, I honestly felt weird when listening to it. I already mentioned in my previous video. Listening to this just makes me feel really happy. Hello, love. So it is day five. And the question for today is, what do you do while listening to a subliminal? You visualize. Basically, while listening to the subliminal, you need to visualize what you are trying to manifest with emotions. You need to feel it with all your heart. And that's when your manifestation is going to come true. So I got my subliminal here ready. So it is officially day six. We have one more day to go. So the question for today is, are subliminal results permanent? The answer is yes, but no. So some results could be permanent, for example, height and stuff like that, but some results aren't permanent. For example, weight loss. We all know no matter what you do, you could always gain your weight back or you could lose your weight. No matter how many subliminals you listen to, no matter how many times you try to manifest it, your weight will always change unless you are consistent with it. That's why it's recommended to listen to subliminals time to time if you want to maintain the results. So I got my subliminal here today and let's get started. So we have finally reached the end of this challenge. No, it's not a challenge. You get what I mean. Did I lose weight or not? Let's see. So this was my before and this is my weight after. I lost 2.4 kg in seven days. But here's the thing. The reason that I didn't want to do this for a very long time is because weight is something that changes overnight. It changes even when you don't do anything. Today you could be 47, tomorrow you could be 48. 
So I don't know how accurate these results are, but yeah, I did lose 2.4 kg and all I can say is it worked because I didn't do anything special during these days. I did not do anything out of the ordinary to lose this weight. So this just happened. So yeah. So that's about it. Now you got your answer. I hope this answer was helpful. That's it for this video. If you would like for me to try other subliminals, let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.